Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to another video. First, let me start by wishing all the mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. If this is the day you celebrate it. If you're in another country and you've already celebrated it or yet to celebrate it, just know you are appreciated. Whether your family's like mine or not and you're just totally neglected, know that I appreciate you. But anyways, woe is me. Let me not complain. So I just want to start off by mentioning one of my viewers. I went and did a private lesson with her. Ramona is her name. Absolute doll. We had a blast. But while I was there, I noticed that she is a soap maker and so am I. So I tried out some of her soap. Now, I, I need to say I do make soap, but I haven't made it in over a year because I just don't have the time right now. But I tried out her soap and it was so delicious on my skin. We'll, we'll say that. It felt like I went through the car wash and had a fresh coat of wax put on me. <laughs> so I told her I wanted to mention it. It's called Ramona's Naturals. She also sells bombs and sprays and all kinds of yummy stuff. So I'm going to link that in the description for you. If anybody's into all natural soap, it, it's just, I like I said, I am a soap maker and you cannot beat a bar of homemade soap. You use something like this for a while. I've noticed even with my own soap, if you switch back, if you run out and you use like a bar of soap from the store or the body washes they sell, whoo, itchy skin to the high heavens. So I just wanted to mention that really quick for her. I promised I would. And now let's get on to my crazy idea. Today is Dutch pour day and we are going to be using Flo. A lot of you know who Flo is. She's my little girl. Guess what happened though? Guess what's happened? Flo now has a brand new sibling and I have not named it yet. So in the comments below, I want you to help me name Flo's, we're going to say sister. <laughs> I want a female name. You know my names, they mean a lot to me on my appliances. So, I have Angelina Blow Lee. I have uh, Humphrey Blogart. I have Blowzilla. And I'm sure I'm forgetting. Oh, the, the Great Blodini, my airbrush. So, help me name this one here. Put it in the comments below. But here's what we are going to do. And I don't know if I'm going to succeed or not, but I sure as hell am going to try. I am going to do a double-handed Dutch pour. That's right. I am going to blow a Dutch pour out with two blow dryers at the same time. And I have some wonderful colors coming up. I have taken my primary elements. I have combined them together. I have added color shift uh, interference powders to them to make them shift different colors than what they already shift to. I am totally excited and I'm going to show you those colors and tell you that you can do that. Your primary elements when you buy them, you can take them and combine them together to make your own custom colors. You can also take a primary element and add a little tiny bit of a tube paint to it to alter the color. Uh, the possibilities of color combinations are endless. So let me show you what I did here. So for this color, for example, that I made, I took one of the blue primary elements, I think it was maybe majestic blue, and to that I added a good amount of my interference green so that it has that nice green color shift to it. Now, if I wanted to lighten it a little bit, I could add just a little more of the interference green, or 
For example, if I wanted to make a custom color, I could put in a primary element with just a couple of drops, not a lot, because you don't want to black out the color of the primary element. And you want to use a semi-transparent or a transparent color, okay? So you can take like this teal and put a couple of drops in just to alter the color. That's a bad example because you really wouldn't see it in something like this, but that's what I have out right now because I'm using that teal color in another color. So you can do that. You can, I mean, here's another one. Now this looks very close to the Cylon cinnamon that they sell, but it is not. This is a gold that I added nickel azo gold to. Here's a purple that I made. And my favorite of them all, a very, very deep blood red. So what I did was I took a primary element and I added a few drops of carbon black to really deepen it up. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely stunning. Okay? So, you can do that with your primary elements. Let's say you have a pretty blue color and you want a rainbow effect in it. You can get the abalone shell, which is a interference that has all five colors in it. Not that it will show up on here. Oh, my hands are disgusting. Um, <laughs> sorry, I've been painting a lot the last couple of days. Uh, you know, it's got the red, blue, green, and gold interference all mixed into one. Or you could buy them, you know, individually, all five, whatever you want. But my point is just to show you how you can do that. So without further ado... You saw my primary element colors. Now let me show you. I have teal by Golden. I have blue black indigo from Atelier. And then I also have a Lumiere color here, which I'm not sure. I think it's Sapphire. Nope. Actually, this one is indigo also. So let me verify that for you. Yeah. Which primary uh, color art sells a beautiful Payne's gray that's really close to this color. I didn't have any, so that's why I chose to use this one. So today I'm working on a 14 by 18 canvas. When I come back, my base paint is already going to be on it. Uh... If you want to know how I mix my paints, I'm going to put a link in the description for you to see this because I've already done this mixing video 8 million times. I'm not going to do it again. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so my goal is now I have my white house paint on the base here. It's not mixed with anything, just right out of the can. I am going to do a two-ended you know, Dutch pour, like just from the ends, make kind of like a that secret garden painting that I did a long time ago that I really loved. So I'm going to just lay my colors down first on both ends of the canvas. Now for my cell activator, I'm going to use white and black. And that is just Australian Floetrol mixed with Amsterdam white paint. And Australian Floetrol mixed with carbon black heavy body paint from Golden. So white down first. It will add depth and kind of outline the cells for you. Yeah. 
and then the black. All colors are thick and heavy. Thick and heavy. All right, guys. Here we go. Volumes off. <laughs> God. Well, now, <laughs> that was quite interesting. It's doable until you get to the finer areas, then you can only use one. So <laughs> I will see you on the other side.
Well, that, my friends, was a challenge. <laughs> I want to do this now with one hand to see how much better I could do. It came out pretty decent, though. Wait until I put the flash on. Like, the colors really don't look special right now. They, they, they spruce up and look so magical once you varnish or resin. But anyway, let me just show you this quickly. And then if you want a little bonus footage of a couple of blooms I just did with these same colors, there's one, two, I'm sorry. You have to pay attention to the, the uh, center of it. It is the most magical thing I've ever seen. All right, so that's lights off. Here's lights on. Oh, and there they are just hard in the house to show you how pretty they are so again I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day if you celebrate be sure to check out like see that area right there oh I can't get that close It looks like Mother of Pearl. Uh, check out the links in the description. I have a coupon to save 20% off your entire purchase at Color Art to buy these colors and many, many more. Um, <clears throat> also, I get so distracted looking at these. Also, you can follow me on TikTok. I just started an account, so if you're on there, please follow me. Instagram, Facebook, join the Facebook group, United We Pour, Fluid Art Group, and share your art with me. And uh, there's a lot of people in there doing the same things that you love to do. It's like, it's just magical. <laughs> I know you're probably tired of hearing me saying they're magical, but... They are magical. If you see a painting that I've done in the past or are interested in a commission, you can email me or by Tammy at yahoo.com. I also have my Etsy shop that I'm going to upload some new art to. And uh, yeah, so check that out. And that is it, my friends. My Amazon shop is there for you to do all your Amazon shopping in. Even if you buy a shower curtain, if you get there via my link, I get a referral fee, which helps the channel, helps get all these pretty supplies, helps me keep teaching. And speaking of um, sponsor boxes for this month will be shown this upcoming week on my channel so be on the lookout for that if you're one of my sponsors until the next time my friends i hope you all have a beautiful day and happy pouring <laughs>